Hi, and welcome back to another Scouts Hereford and Worcester YouTube video. We've been in this lockdown for quite a while now, and one thing that we may find ourselves doing more, since we've started running out of things to do, is watching the television. But because we've been watching a lot more television than normal, we may be starting to get bored of the shows being the same all the time. So today, I'm going to teach you how you can make a sock puppet, and then you can make your own mini television series using these puppets. To make your puppet, you will need a sock, a ruler, a pencil, a piece of cardboard, some glue, some scissors, buttons for eyes, a needle and thread, and some old fabric that you can use. The first thing that you're going to have to do is to measure the width of the sock. So my sock is about 10 centimetres wide. Now you're going to draw a circle on the cardboard that is the same width as the sock. I'm going to do this using um, a compass. But if you do not have a compass, you can do this by finding an object that is roughly the right size and draw around it. You now need to cut this circle out of the cardboard. Now that the circle has been cut out, you're just going to make sure that it is the right size for the sock, and then you need to fold it in half. Now you need to take your glue and put some onto the cardboard. Once you have done that, you need to spread the glue around so that it covers all of that side of the cardboard. Once you've done this, you need to fold it in half, but make sure you don't close it completely. Now you need to take it and put it inside the sock. Put it all the way up to the top, and then when it's at the top, you need to try and open it back up and push the sock into it to make the mouth shape. Now you need to press the sock down onto the inside of the cardboard so that it sticks. Now that the glue is dried, we can move on to the eyes. So first of all, you need to figure out where your eyes want to go. Once you have done that, you're going to take your needle and thread and you're going to start the um, stitching off by doing a few back stitches. This is when you stitch in the same place about two or three times to keep it in place. Once you have done that, you can start sewing on the eye. You may want to get an adult to help you with this as it can be a bit tricky and obviously needles are sharp. Now you're going to, once you've stu stitched on the first eye, you're going to repeat the process with the second eye.
Now that the eyes are on, this is the stage where you can move on to adding extra details to your puppet. This is where the extra material comes in. So for mine, I'm going to use the extra material to put some spikes down the back of the puppet. So I did this by cutting out some triangles out of the material, and then I was going to stitch on the spikes down the back. Once again, I started off with a back stitch, just so that the thread kept in place. And then I just stitched through the triangle, so it sort of made, it was a bit like a mohawk. You can add whatever features you want with your material. And once you have finished putting the, um, your extra features on, your puppet is now done. So that is how you make your sock puppet. Now, if you want to be a bit more adventurous, you could do a puppet without a sock. So here's one that I made for children need one year. So this is actually made by cutting out two pieces of fabric of the shape that I wanted and then stitching them together so that I can put my hand inside. So if you want to try a puppet like that, why not give it a go? Now, all that's left to do is to get on your best performing outfit and set up your camera ready to perform your show. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to send in your videos of your puppets, send them in to stay safe at scoutshw.org.uk. Thanks for watching, have fun and stay safe guys.